Okay, let's see what's inside here. Oh, here he comes. It's a little boy. Give him a smack on the bottom. Get him to cry. Get his nappy on. A bit of powder, make him smell beautiful. There we go. This on your baby. His name's Jack. There you are. Give him a big cuddle and a big kiss. Beautiful. And there his papers. Look here, look Louise. Look, look, there's look. his papers. It's his name. Jack Buck. They're like little people. It's not as if you're just going into shop and buying a doll and walking out. It's nice to go through the whole thing of seeing them born. Um, you can watch, see how they're being changed and they get fed and they get loved. You sign adoption papers, you say an oath. Um, and it's just a nice sense of belonging for the owners of these, the new owners of their babies. What kind of people buy these dolls? Well, we've had people from, say, six months to the age of 60. Are they buying them for kids or...? A lot of the people, a lot of parents come in buying them for their children, for the young ones. A lot of teenage children actually come in here and mm. they're just crazy about them, they adore them. Do you think that there's any um, psychological implications about the dolls, that there could be bad effects from thinking that it's like a real baby? Does anyone really believe that? Uh, most people think they believe it. <laughs> <laughs> they like to think that it's all true, but I think they realise that it's not. They're just going along with the whole fantasy and enjoying every minute of it. Right. Just like I am. <laughs> we're going to sit on this on the chair here because we're going to get Jack's papers, aren't we? Come here. Sit on my knee. Look here. It's your beautiful dolly. Hello. You've got your new baby. Yes. Okay. Is, he, is he going to sit on your knee? Put him on your knee like I've got you. Mum, would you like to go through the oath, please? Yes. Would you like to raise your right hand yes. and look at the oath on the wall? Can you please repeat that? Yes. I promise to love my Cambridge Patch kid with all my heart. I promise to be a kind and a good parent. I will always remember how special my Cambridge Patch kid is to me. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Can I have that? Right. Now, here are your adoption papers and your birth certificate. Well, make sure you fill those in when you get home, okay? Yes. Yes. And send them off. Yes. All right. I know an ice cream. Adopt me! Adopt me! I'm not a cabbage doll! I'm real! Okay, guys, what do you think of the Cabbage Patch Kids craze? Oh, I think they're a bit, a bit gimmicky and people get so fanatical about them. After all, they're only dolls and I'd rather have a dog. You'd rather have a dog? Yeah. What about you? I think they're, they're gimmicky. I suppose my sister would like them, but give me a puppy than a vegetable any old day. A vegetable? <laughs> okay, what about you? Oh, they're all right, but... Uh... A bit sappy, ripping a, a little dolly out of a plastic cabbage. So basically, you think it's better for girls than for guys? Yeah, I wouldn't My get one. My little sister thinks she came out of a cabbage. <laughs> Does she? <laughs> oh. No, it sets sex education back a few years. Does it? <laughs> I think it's, it can be a lot of fun for the children. Obviously, they appeal to the children. But I think that it has to be kept on that level. Mm -hmm. When we first came in here and it was made um, such a production of and we saw the babies coming out of the cabbages um, Louisa who's three said is it a really truly baby and I said well it's a really truly baby doll right. and I think that that has to be drawn I think fantasy is wonderful for children for everybody but on the other hand I think people who say that one shouldn't have these fantasies I think that's a pity too I think a little a balance is a balance. the nice thing what's your doll's name Cara Wilhelmina yours just I mean, Chester Nick. And yours? Just when I was And do you think they're like real babies? No. Why not? Mm, I don't know. Just don't think it's like a real baby. What about yours? Half. Half a baby. And what about yours? Half a baby. You think yours is like a baby? Are you going to treat her as a real baby? Yes. You are? Why? I don't know. You just think that she's like a real baby? Yeah. What makes her like a real baby, do you think? She looks like one. I don't like them myself. Why not? I don't know, I think they're stupid. <laughs> Do you like them? Yes. Why? Because they're cute. Well, mine sleeps on my bed all day. Right, so it's a bed ornament more than... Yeah. Oh, night time it comes everywhere with me. Does it really? Yeah. It's a cuddly object. Yeah. 
cute. I mean, it said you have to cuddle them every day, so. So you do. Yeah. Cabbage Patch dolls are fun, but you can't beat the real thing. Can you, Christopher? Hey? He's cute, isn't he?